Team coverage this evening, we begin with reporter Patricia Santos. She is live at the church hosting tonight's meeting. Patty. Well, the Berkside Neighborhood Association meeting starts at 630 here at this church right on the corner of Peoria and 35th. Now, the goal is to empower the community not only to help this serial rapist, but also to help prevent other crimes. You know, most of them are date rapes and rapes of people that people, you know, that know we know you. So, I mean, but this is, this is the scariest one. Former Tulsa police officer Bart Dean knows big crimes get a lot of attention. Now, through his work with the Crime Prevention Network, he wants to help stop crimes from happening in the first place. We need eyes on the street. We need citizens to remain alert, to pay attention to what's going on in their neighborhood because the citizens are ultimately responsible for the security in their homes and their neighborhoods. He's one of several groups invited to speak at the Brookside Community Meeting following six sexual assault cases, two of them at this Brookside condo. It's getting on to summer. Um, in the past, we've had times when uh, people were sexually assaulted that lived on the first floor because they left their windows open. Donna Matthews with DVIS will also be there helping to educate women about the small changes that could save their lives. Like how to um, put alarms in yourself perhaps or call an alarm company. There are alarms you can put on your windows that just beep if the window's open. Dean says the reality is the rapists and other criminals could strike anywhere in the community unless neighbors take action beforehand. This one bad guy is a, is a, is a very bad guy, but we have a lot of bad guys in Tulsa and we want to catch them all. And get this, there are roughly 500 neighborhood association groups in Tulsa. Uh, just a little bit over half of them are actually active. Now, anyone in the community is invited to attend the meeting here at this church. Another forum will be held this Thursday at 530 at the Brookside Library. Coming up at 6, I'm going to tell you what Tulsa police are saying about this case. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News Works for you.